What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Toronto and this is Toronto Racing. So in today's video, just like the title states, I'm going to be changing the headlamps on my uh, Dodge Ram Daytona. So I originally wanted to do headlights and taillights, but I'm not quite sold on what taillights I want to do yet. But I definitely knew what headlights I wanted to do and I've had them sitting here for a little while now. So that's what we're going to do. It's a quick, easy install, but I want to show you guys these headlights real quick and tell you where I got them. So as you can see, it still has the uh, wrapping on it, but it's pretty much a black housing with a clear corner lens. And I think it has the, it does have the turn signal bulb already in there. Now these are the same headlights that I used on my uh, 04 2500 and I just think they look slick as hell. So that's why uh, I decided to opt in for them again. And they're only about 70 bucks on Amazon. So in the description below, I'll provide a link for those. And uh, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get to it. Hood open. So. Before we begin, let's go over uh, the few tools that you'll need to uh, take these headlamps out. So first, you need like a Phillips head. I'm using this uh, quick release tool that kind of came with the came with my Craftsman drill bit set. A, I'm using a three eighths, no quarter inch uh, extension, and a quarter inch uh, deep socket, 10 mil. The reason why you want this is so you can get to the bolt. That's right back there. You can't really see it. But the reason why you want to use the quarter inch is so you can sneak it in between the headlamp and the bumper. And of course, I'm using my Craftsman uh, drill right here. So before we begin, I'm actually going to tape this off right here so I don't scratch it trying to get that bottom bolt out. So let's get started. All right, so we got it taped up. You don't gotta do nothing too crazy. You just don't want the drill to start spinning and scratching up the paint. So the first thing you gonna do is undo these right here. Now, these bolts right here, so one, two, and three are all 10 mils. And then this sort of gasket right here is just a single uh, Phillips head uh, cap bolt right there. And it's just a plastic one that expands. So let's go ahead and take that out. Pushing down on the bumper, and there's a little bit of flex. That's not a good spot. That's a good spot. And you can't see it, but I'm on the bolt here. Come right out. It's a lot easier when you have two hands and you can just push down on that. You see your flexes. Uh, nothing too crazy. So let me uh, let me get this out. All right, as you can see, got the headlamp out. Here it is in my hand. This is the extra ugly one too, it's all scuffed up. So when you pull it out, there's a lip right underneath here, right there. And the top of the headlamp right there, that likes to catch on it. So it's a little bit of finessing to make sure it doesn't catch on the upper lip and pushing down on the bottom piece of the bumper here so it uh, slides right out. Nothing too difficult. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the new one in. Oh, actually, before I do that. There's a tab that the headlamp clicks into right here. Now, when you pull the headlamps out, that tab stays stuck right there. It's this buddy right here. So our new headlamps already have a new one with them. Um, you can either uh, remove this off the new headlamps or remove this out of the truck and then just insert the new headlamp as one unit um, I've done this before. I think I'm just gonna take out the old one and then I uh, split the new headlamp in as one unit So 
so to fish that little bugger out, what I use is my Snap-on uh, 90 pick here. This little bad boy was like $17. I've had it for like seven years and it always works. All right, so after finagling with it for a little bit, uh, I wanna show you guys exactly what I was doing. So you're gonna, you're gonna be looking at it head on like this and the tabs you wanna pull down are on the top and the bottom. And basically I take the 90 pick around the left and right sides of the tab and I just flip it up and it comes right out. That's pretty much how you do that. So let's uh, move on to installing the new headlamp. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is I have removed the turn signal headlight bulb and this is the OEM one, it's got the Chrysler emblem on it. So you wanna unplug this from this harness because the OEM one does not fit into the new headlamp. Therefore, you gotta use the turn signal that comes with the headlamp. So now that we did that, we can take this, put it somewhere safe. We wanna keep the bulb maybe. That's my uh, LED uh, light bulb there, not gonna lie. These uh, work wonders. So, uh, what I simply did was twist and remove the one that came with the new headlamp and then plug it into the harness. Second thing you wanna do is you wanna unscrew this. This is what keeps the light bulb in place. And then just boom, light bulb came out. Now these are just some aftermarket um, light bulbs, but these really do not light up the road for anything. So maybe you can put them in the glove box just in case uh, you need to replace them and you don't want to spend the money on some new LEDs or light bulbs. So, you know, they're good to keep uh, in a safe place. So what we're doing is we're removing the light bulb that comes with the headlamp and we're removing the turn signal that comes with your truck and keeping the aftermarket. So now we're ready to put it up in the truck and start plugging everything back in. All right, so now that we got the headlamp in place, you can tell that I kept the uh, plastic wrap around it just so putting it in the top of the bumper uh, fender right here wouldn't scratch the top and it wouldn't scratch the bottom or anything along the bottom of the bumper. The tape is still there. So now what I'm gonna start with is clean that up a little bit first but I'm gonna start with just putting these by threading them in by hand put these screws back in that I move this thing yes I dig it there it is anytime you tighten something you never want to crank everything down uh, immediately you kind of want to bring them all in little by little since these two are the uh, easiest ones to reach you know starting with these right here the next one I'm going to do is put in this bottom one right here in that tough corner and this I'll do dead last so let me go ahead I'm going to need both hands to put this one in so let me do that real quick alrighty got everything buttoned up on the bottom right here and right here and right there that's all you need you got the turn signal in i got the headlamp in i'm gonna give you one tech tip that you guys are gonna love so if you ever have trouble getting bolts in like you've got it on the extension and you're trying to get it in and it's just not working get yourself a little dumb dumb so you look in there it's like all black and tacky that's pretty much all it is it's like tacky uh, sticky stuff and what it allows you to do is you stick it in the socket and it doesn't fall out and you get it harbor free for like maybe seven dollars so that'll really save you tons of time and headache when you're trying to fish in or fish out bolts so there you have it change out the headlamps all you need is either a ratchet a little drill gun like this nothing too crazy phillips head 90 degree pick or a fly head that'll work fine uh, quarter inch extension quarter inch socket 10 mil and that's really it so Take a look at it. Mmm. I don't care who you are. Them headlamps look so damn sexy on this truck. I mean, don't pay attention to the wheels. I mean, I'm working on that right now. But look how good that looks. Mmm. Compared to this. Just not a fan of it. Not a fan of that at all. These bad boys over here. Man. Drop the box. That's the look right there. Give me another angle again. Hmm. All right, let me shut up. Let me get this other one out and in, and then we'll be done.
All right guys, so with the time lapse going and me just changing out the headlamp on stop, I think it took me maybe three to four minutes. Um, but just just one last thing, and that's you need to level out your headlamp, uh, the way the light is projected. Obviously it's the middle of the day right now, kind of hot. Um, so we're not gonna do that right now. Uh, I'm gonna do that later tonight, but I don't think I'm gonna film it. So I'm just gonna show you where the uh, screws are, where you need to turn to adjust how high or low your headlamps are, because you don't wanna go hit the road and then your headlamps are pointing straight to the ground or they're pointing straight to the sky. Either one is not good and you're not gonna be able to see anything. So let me show you those real quick. Say what's up to the Challenger. All right, so when you're looking at the headlamp on the truck, all you gotta do is take this, uh, that little screw out like we talked about, fold this back, and it'll reveal that right there. And you need a star bit to screw it in or screw it out. Nothing too crazy. You just close the garage door, turn your headlamps on, and then make sure they, you know, hit across the same line on the garage door, not too high, not too low. And then, you know, go out on the street and see if uh, you like it or not. All right, guys, real simple mod that really cleaned up the look of the truck. So you know what's next? I like going to church. I like blessing up these mods, showing you guys how it looks. So let's get out there. All right, guys, it is hot out here today. So I'm gonna show you guys, give you guys a walk around of the truck. Uh, just a couple notes I want off the top of my head. Uh, I do have the new Daytona decals. I just need to make time to run out the H window tint so we can take these old ones off, put the new ones on. Uh, I also want to tip the front windshield, do the eyebrow on it. Uh, still got to do the maintenance thing. So I got to do those upper control arms and wheel bearings, just time. Um, but yeah, it's finally starting to look like a nice truck got the headlamps got the spoiler and your decals coming in uh, i really want to slam it like i want to do the whole front rebuild the front suspension and lower it all at the same time but the tires on these wheels are just like they're brand new so i want to you know i want to use them up one time i had mentioned that i wanted to keep these uh, side moldings right here uh, but they're so damn whoops that i'm just gonna take them off uh, i hate how it's silver and then those things are like rusty red color you know what i mean it just kind of throws the whole thing off uh, I'm just not vibing with it, so I'm gonna take it off. Um, the other side, yeah, you see they're still silver. So I'm gonna take them off just because those other ones are just, they're beat. I don't wanna spend the money uh, buying new ones and painting them, so I'm just gonna take them off for now. Um, still trying to find the side steps. If you guys know anybody who has them, hit me up, I will buy them. Um, but that's really about it, guys. So uh, let me go ahead and show you the truck. Oh guys, you can see the truck's finally coming together. I need to thank the fucking on because it is hot. Oh man, it feels nice. That Texas sun, that Texas heat's finally, it's finally making its way here. There we go. Uh, but yeah guys, that's the truck. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, I've kind of slowed down just because summer's a real busy time for me, uh, but I have been collecting parts steady and then when I have time, I'll make these videos and I'll drop them as soon as I can, I promise. Uh, if you've been keeping up with the channel, I'm putting a lot of attention now on the Challenger. Um, I know I said I want to focus more on the Daytona, but the Challenger needs some love. I got a couple of events coming up that I need to really get ready for. Uh, we got some new parts coming in, new install videos coming in. So uh, keep an eye out for those because they're going to come and they're going to come quick. Uh, the other thing I'm still messing with on the Challenger, as you guys know, is just a stupid limp mode issue that has me all messed up. But once I figure it out, I'll be happy. So I need to focus on that because I want the car to just be just easy to jump in and go you know for the last three four years that's all it's been jumping and go um and now recently it's starting to give me issues but i can't complain um she's been good for me for a long time now she's finally crying i've been being on her too much but that's what they're built for so guys if you like these videos hit that like button if you got any uh suggestions comment below if you love these videos hit that subscribe button so until next time guys peace out